Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back to the channel. My name is Zayla and today I'm not going to be commentating over my gameplay. I'll make here a little comments here and there, but for the most part, I'm still taking a break from YouTube because I'm still trying to sort life out. A lot of stuff going on, a lot of things to organize and yeah, sorry I kind of just disappeared, but I hope you guys understand that life does have its own kind of just, yeah, curveballs that it's throwing at us these days and uh, you just got to deal with them as best you can. So got to try keep that PMA, you know, that positive mental attitude. Shout out to Jacksepticeye. Thank you, my G. And, um, yeah, today we're basically just looking at your boy Kakarot Goku. Now, I'm not gonna read everything. You guys can read it, uh, at your own pace, basically. He's got a pseudo-support, uh, mechanism now, and for some ungodly stupid reason, he doesn't have the tag Super Warrior, even though he does now buff them. If he had buffed them, I guarantee he would live lo a lot longer than he is going to in this game. I feel that his Zenkai is going to die out in a couple of weeks, maybe two to three weeks. The Zenkai will be dead because no one is going to use him over... Personally, I wouldn't even use him over Zenkai Nappa because I find Nappa a phenomenal unit. Now, these are the buffs the team is getting. I much prefer Nappa compared to this guy. Um, I just don't feel like the longevity of this unit is there. And I just feel they could have done more, quite frankly. Um, I'm kind of glad they didn't because he's a Sun Family unit. And quite frankly, screw Sun Family in this game. And um, yeah, that's all there is to say about that. But all in all, he's not a bad Zenkai. Is he going to replace Zenkai Gohan? No, no, he's not. But he's a cool red Zenkai Saiyan, so yeah.
Looks like I win. Alrighty then, you wanna play the switching game with me? Let's go. Switch into you, you're gonna switch into Topo, and let's go. Yeah, there you go, thanks my guy. And boom, half HP. Love to see it. Oh, I'm, oh okay, no, I didn't mistime it, and he's dead. Uh, well, that's a dead Topo, that's very unfortunate. And I've got two dodges left, so I'll be able to counter this lock quite comfortably. And I got my vanish, let's go. Okay, this Goku's ult does nullify endurance. Now I know I'm not going to be able to get him down to zero from here, but my plan is to use a blue card after this because the count the activation period does last three counts and there it is. Let's go. And it's pretty much a GG from here, my guy. I mean, you can have this Goku now because guess what? As soon as you finish this Goku, you're getting hit with a blue card. You're I can tell you how this match is going to go. You're going to you're going to kill this Goku with the blue card. You're gonna rush, I'm gonna use a blue card, and I'm gonna one-shot you. That's my estimation, let's see. Bang on the money, thanks very much. GG, my guy. Well now, this is a goddamn top tier fusion warrior team. Well, I sense yellow, red, green, and if he doesn't just oh, he's gonna bring green, he sees Zenkai, Goku. Yeah, there's no way it's not those three. He might bring purple Vegito, but eh, I don't see it. Cool, try to drop, but never mind. Oh, 
Bro, as, like, as much as I love Gogeta, there is just no way this is even going to do half my HP. Um, yeah, like, they've done this Gogeta so goddamn dirty. He's got a decent kit, but my god, he's he just mid now, dude. If you play, don't get me wrong, you can still absolutely annihilate your opponent with this guy, but if you don't, and you don't use him properly with the green cards and the blue cards, bro, he's just useless, and... The green, the strike card ability, I keep forgetting he has blast armor on his damn strike cards, it's so irritating. Tackle me, yeah. Yeah, this game is pretty much over. Um, no matter what you do, yeah, you're gonna let him go. I'm gonna probably go for a strike now again. Yep, GG my guy, you've lost the match, and uh, yeah. We'll just defeat the Gogeta and go straight to the next one. Okay, well... Yeah, that's fine. You're not going to defeat me with the second one. Let's see if I can beat you to it. No. Nope. Wait, how? Okay, I'm not going to lie. I don't even know how I got out of that. Um, yeah, I don't even know how I got out of that one, but okay. Bro, I respect this team. This is actually a really, really cool team. And it is actually a team I would have made if I had the units available to me. I have every one of those units, obviously, except Zenkai. Vegito is only at Zenkai 1. I refuse to Zenkai him any further with any of my resources because he's ass. And Zenkai Piccolo. If I had one more copy of Zenkai Piccolo, best believe he would be on this team. Well, what the damn hell is that then? Oh, that was going to be such a good match. Yeah! 
So I can rush. Yep. Eh, what a fun mechanic. Oh, love to see rushes. You know what? Goku, if I don't guess this, it's green or blue. And um, there's blue. Um, yeah, there's another one. If this... I would strike. Wow. Um, I don't even know what I was going to say now. I'm not going to lie. If this guy... Okay, well. In this match... Sorry, not if this guy. In this match, at least the Goku is going to be running the... Or providing the pseudo support of the death buffs that he does provide. I'm getting death attack. Yeah. He does provide pseudo supports when he dies, so I guess I'll take that. Don't have any idea how you got your vanish back there, but whatever you say, my guy. This shouldn't kill me, and it doesn't. Let's go. Yeah, look how easy it is to hit the rising rush button. Wow, I can win a match using a rise in using a button. One single button, you win the match. Ha ha! Well, thank God I didn't get gassed. Ha ha! Game's so stupid, dude. And this is why I'm taking a break. I'm tired of just playing matches where every single time the match is determined whether I get a rising rush or not first. The thing is, I don't need a rising rush to win a match. If you, can, if you can defeat an opponent's teammate without using a rush first, you're in a good position. But a rush can just change it too easily, and that is why I don't like this game that much anymore. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys all in the next one, whenever that is.